Hey everyone, Julia from Sunday Sounds here. In this video, we're going to take a look at our song-specific patch designed in the style of the song you see on the screen. I'm going to demonstrate this song patch in its original key and at its original tempo. You can change the key you play or hear the song patch in by using Easy Transpose, and you can change the tempo as well. Details on how to adjust both the key and the tempo are included in your download. For this video, I'll be demonstrating the main stage version of this song-specific patch. If you purchase the Ableton Live version, you'll be able to use this video to follow along just the same, seeing as the hand positions, song sections, layer ranges, and sound of the patch are the same. In main stage, you'll use your mod wheel to move through the various song sections. In Ableton, you'll use the macro knob labeled Song Section. Be sure to check out the full demo video for this song patch to see all the parts and sections in order and how we move the song section control throughout the song. For this song patch, you'll have piano, pads, organ, synth, and bass all triggered in the left hand range which stitches from here up to here. There is a piano sound from this note all the way up the rest of the keys. So that means that all of your chord triggers are just down in this lower left hand range. So you can play your right hand chords all throughout this range including in the left hand range as well. There are some chromatic chords or chords that don't belong in the key that you'll play during this song. So therefore there are some notes that are triggered in the right hand range that wouldn't normally be triggered in this key. Those chords are as follows. Now you'll notice that this chord is built off of the 6th scale degree, which in this key you'll normally have a minor 6 chord. And during some parts of the song you do play the minor 6. So this chord trigger is programmed so that you can either play the minor 6 or this chromatic chord and it will sound correct. So just be sure whenever you're playing one of the chords built off of the sixth note of your key that you play the right chord in your right hand so that it sounds correct. You'll start the song with the song section control all the way down for your intro, down verse, down chorus, turnaround, instrumental, interlude, and post chorus. At one third will be your medium verse and the down refrain. At two thirds will be medium chorus, medium interlude, medium bridge, and medium refrain and all the way up will be the big bridge and the big chorus. And remember that whether you're in main stage or Ableton Live, these positions are the same. For the intro, you'll have the song section control all the way down you're going to play octaves in your left hand and chords in your right hand. In order to sound the most like the recording, you'll want to voice your chords like this. Now for the first four chords, you'll want to arpeggiate the right hand. That would sound like this. Then for the last four chords, there's a short melody line that you'll play over the top of the chords. So here it is with both hands. Now this part comes back later in the song as the turnaround. And for this part, you'll play everything the exact same way.
for the down verse, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You're going to play octaves in your left hand and chords in your right hand. And all of these chords will be the same as the intro. So if you haven't watched that section of the tutorial yet, I highly recommend going back so you can see how we voice all these chords. For the medium verse, you'll have the song section control at one third, and you'll play everything the same way. For the down chorus, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You're going to play octaves in your left hand and chords in your right hand. You can voice these chords however you'd like, but here's how I like to play them. For the medium chorus, you'll have the song section control at two thirds. Play octaves in your left hand and those same chords in your right hand. For the big chorus, you'll have the song section control all the way up and you'll play everything the same way as the previous choruses. Now there is a tag at the end of this section where you'll play the last two lines of the chorus one more time. Just be sure to watch for this part in the demo video. For the bridge, you'll have the song section control at two thirds. Now there's a short interlude before the bridge where you play the same chords as the bridge two times. So just watch for this part in the demo. For the bridge, you'll play octaves in your left hand and you'll play sort of a piano riff in your right hand, which is really just like specific chords. Here's what it sounds like. So you'll play that while you're holding out the one of your key. Then for the very last line of the bridge, the chord progression changes to sound like this. For this part, you'll slightly change your right hand part to fit within the chords, like this. Then for the big bridge, you'll have the song section control all the way up, play octaves in your left hand, and then your right hand will be playing that piano riff slash chords on those same notes up high. If you'd like to invert your chords so that those are the highest notes and you play a lower note as well, you can do that as well. The bridge comes back later in the song, You'll start with the song section control at two thirds, play everything the same way as the previous bridge, and then again you'll move all the way up on the song section control for the last bridge. And just be sure to watch for those parts in the demo in context.
For the instrumental and the refrain, you'll start with the song section control all the way down, play octaves in your left hand in that piano chord slash riff part in your right hand up high, and this is for the instrumental. You'll play that right there for a total of four times through. Then you'll play the refrain. This is the same part, but you'll increase the song section control to one third. You'll play everything the same way, left hand octaves, right hand riff. Again, you'll play that four times through total. Then you'll increase the song section control to two thirds for the medium refrain. Then you'll play this part two times through total for this part. For the post-chorus, you'll start with an interlude, you'll have the song section control all the way down, play octaves in your left hand and simple chords in your right hand. This interlude will just be alternating between the one of your key and the one suspended. I like to keep my right hand chords down lower for this part, but again you can play them however you'd like. Then for the post-chorus, we're going to be playing part of a hymn. So you can just play the chords if you'd like, but I like to play the melody in my right hand or keep the melody note as the highest note of the chords in my right hand. I play that like this. Here's just that right hand part. Keep in mind, you can also just play the melody in your right hand if you'd like, or just the chords. You'll repeat this post chorus again, on the second time through, I like to just hold out on the one of my key while I play that chord and melody mixture in my right hand. Sometimes I'll bring in my pointer finger in my left hand and play some of those notes to help with the chord structure, but I just hold out, especially in the lowest octave, just hold out that one of your key. This just helps to create an ambiance behind the vocals that are singing this part because it's got a pad down here as well. Now, depending on how your band decides to play this part, you can drop out entirely or you can drop out the lower octave as a whole. So you just play piano sounds up here. However you like to do it is fine. It's a versatile patch, so you can play it in different ways if you'd like. At the very end of the song, you'll repeat the last line of the post chorus two more times, and then you'll end on the one of your key. Be sure to watch the demo video to see all of these parts in order and how we move the song section control throughout the song. Song specific patches work best in the Sunday Keys template for Mainstage and Ableton Live. Sunday Keys gives you all the sounds and tools you need to play live worship keys and all of our song specific patches integrate seamlessly with Sunday Keys. You can learn all about Sunday Keys for Mainstage and Ableton Live on our website. Thanks for checking out this song specific patch. I'm Julia with Sunday Sounds and I'll see you next time.